G'day everyone, Matt Elder, Family Bricks here. What is London Eye UK like now? It is reopened with COVID-19 measures in place. Is it worth going? What has changed? What is the experience like? Etc. We'll cover this in the video and give our thoughts and a first-hand experience as a family. We do a full tour experience on the London Eye in about five minutes. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall, or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. We've actually been to the London Eye UK twice in the last month. The first time on the London Eye was August 23rd, 2020, six weeks after it had reopened, so it had some time to bed in the new coronavirus safety guidelines. This was interesting as during peak school holidays, they are only allowing two family groups in the capsule at a time. When we went on Sunday 20th September 2020, they were allowing four family groups in the capsule at one time, even after the stricter six people max had been brought in a week or so previously. We'll give you a sense of if the London Eye is worth visiting and what it is like now. To get to the London Eye, you'll most likely have to take public transport of some form. We took the overground and the underground slash tube, so now you have to wear a face mask, and the trains and train stations are signposted about this everywhere. We caught a 9am train on a Sunday morning so it was relatively empty and these shots give you a sense of that. We came out at Westminster train station and you can see Big Ben there just off to the right and so it's a quick trip over the bridge here and you have the London Eye there on the left and the Sea Life Aquarium London is actually there on the right a little bit. So nice leisurely walk across the bridge here. So it's really nice to come out and you can see all the iconic landmarks. So you walk along the Queen's Walk and coming up you're going to have London Sea Life right there, then Shrek's Adventures and past that is going to be the London Dungeons. We have Merlin Passes, Premium Passes, so that means we can get into the Fast Track queue here, which means you jump a lot of the queue and it really does make a huge amount of difference so you don't have to wait that long. Even with the Merlin Passes, at this time you had to pay a pound for each ticket, but now they've removed that downturn paying nothing, but you do have to pre-book everything online. So this part of the footage is when we only have two family groups in the capsule and that was brilliant. <laughs> Cleopatra's Needle. So from Charing Cross, you come around a little bit. And you have Nelson's Column and the Art Gallery, National Gallery, and the Portrait Gallery. And a little bit further around here, just going down there, you got Buckingham Palace. The flag is up, so the Queen is in today. And then if you come a little bit further around here, you have Big Ben, which is the actual bell, with the tower there, and Houses of Parliament. And obviously at the moment it's undergoing some renovation and further around to the rest of the river. Is London Eye worth it? Given that we've been twice in a month, I guess you can pretty much tell that absolutely it's worth it. When we went during the school holidays, it was fantastic because you literally had two family groups. So there's the four of us and two other people in this capsule. It was brilliant because normally they have about 25, 30 people in here and just being able to have that capsule and you basically could walk around the whole thing. You didn't really ever get in each other's way. You had unobstructed views. That was a big reason why we went back the second time because it's sort of like if we can experience that again then take advantage of it while you can even with the four family groups it was still much better than what it's normally like pre-covid with so many people in there and particularly on warm days when there's lots of people in there it gets really hot and sweaty and the sun comes in so just having even fewer people you're still not tripping over each other as much and you're really able to take it in and enjoy it this is london Marriott hotel county hall and in there there's a gilroy steakhouse and bar it's a bit of a faff to get into because you've got to come around the side entrance but totally recommend it and it was really quiet at the moment because it is difficult to get into and it's got really good views looking back over the thames river so that was our trip around and it takes about half an hour once you get in the capsule. At the moment, if you can get along to see it, totally recommend it as the numbers are really way down and it's so great experience in there. 
they must be losing money with this so it can't be sustainable in the long term so get onto it while you can if you've enjoyed and or gotten something out of this video then hit that thumbs up button and or consider subscribing would you go if you've been what did you think sound off in the comments below thanks for watching at the moment generally with no foreign tourists in london visiting castles and other attractions are fantastic days out particularly if you get annual passes that allow you into multiple attractions because the places are virtually deserted or are serious restrictions on numbers we're letting people in check out this one on the tower of london which has 10 percent of its normal tourist numbers as there's no foreign tourists here's a playlist of other merlin entertainment attractions and what they're like at the moment alternatively here are some other videos you might enjoy that's it from us here at family bricks until next time when we talk about all things lifestyle.